<laughs> Alright guys, here we're talking about Season 3, Episode 6 of Daredevil, and this was my favorite episode so far. Nice. Um, dr dramatically so. <laughs> like, I enjoyed there, it as there well. Was, there was a couple of moments where I talked to myself out loud. Like, get him! <laughs> well, in particular, I recall when uh, when Bullseye first like throws the thing to get foggy, and and Matt catches it. Ooh. I was like, "Yeah, boy!" <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, but like that fight, like just to jump ahead to that for so a second, like, that so was amazing. That's the main event, right? Anything oh, else that we God, talk about? Yes. We'll that just... might be the main event of the season. And I and uh, did you go check how many episodes there are? There are no, I didn't. There are thirteen. Oh. So I Thank was God. I was afraid that like well now we're past the halfway point potentially and that's why we're spiking or something like that but there's no, there's a lot more to go that's, that was like oh it was beautiful no, like, I love like because in the beginning he's like like because when it was close combat yes. you're like you're like oh man you can't beat Matt it's Matt so just destroys good. you and then like. Like this is like almost a different direction of Bullseye, where it's like it's not just an aim thing. He has like like echo sonar or shit, because like he wasn't even seeing him, and he was like doing shit to him. Well, he's uh so like uh, okay, ooh, this is like make Bullseye great again or something like that. Like like my only exposure to Bullseye was co was Colin Farrell, uh -huh. and and this will be the last. And that time was a jokey version of it. Yeah, and the, and the whole thing's camp, right? And he you know gets the peanut butter, uh, yes. the the peanut, and like kills the old lady. So so there's some of that trajectory, but that's like a thing. He, he has like yeah. ridiculous and aim like, and can different uh, superheroes. I think even Captain America and certain people they say like they can like calculate the physics of angles and that's how they do their other stuff. Mm -hmm. They bounce the shield and all that. Like you do. Okay, cool. That's like a little like like extra power that that they have to throw in to make other powers make sense or to logically do whatever. Sure. But yeah, here this no, there's no there's no amazing. explanation because for like when he's behind the the little uh, partition wall of the yeah. cubicle and he like throws a ball, hits the wall and like cracks him in the head. Yeah. You have no idea where I, behind that wall he is. I think that he has like spatial reasoning skills and the ability to predict where it's going to go, and he's just kind of feeling him out. He's like, well, he'd have to be this far. I'm feeling do this it's more thing. of a long shot <coughs> kind of thing where okay. where it's it's not even aim, it's luck. Oh. Like, where he's just like, ha ha, he, ha, hoo ha, okay, like, he can just do something. That, and, and that's, I'm not basing that, that off of anything. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's solely just because of how crazy some of these shots were that were like blind. And speaking of blind, do you think? Think that this is a modified Daredevil suit? You I have think a... he actually has has eyes. Okay. I have. A... I thought that was just hard plastic over his eyeballs. I did too, and I have a whole section in my notes about like, is this a modified suit? Because uh, it has to be the same suit. But then how come? Did okay. the guy that designed it even know he was blind though? So maybe it's not. I, I guess I, right. I, I don't think it's ever actually said. I just naturally assumed. I assumed that it was that not that... real eye holes. I assumed that the whole piece was just solid or or like whatever or something. It was Which a separate no kind sense. of plastic. Yeah. But I thought it was just like a bubble of like metallic red plastic. Yeah, I thought it was just the same thing. So that's that has me shook as well, where I don't know. But that's the whole he thing. He looks so good like, in the suit, though. He looks great in the he's suit. He's got a good chin. And the way he says, I'm Daredevil, and smirks and all that stuff, I was like, oh, But that was so great, good. because had he not it's said so anything, you, yeah. you would have had like, wait a minute, is that Daredevil for the people that don't? Like, you oh. know, we're, we know it's not him, because yeah, we yeah. are able to see the whole thing. But Matt's in a whole other room before they ever see Matt again. Yeah. It would be like, wait, was that Matt? <laughs> I'm Daredevil. That's not Matt's voice. Who the fuck is that? Hey, Karen. Nice to see you again. And then yeah. he walks out. I was like, oh, my God. This guy's amazing. The whole thing was amazing. No, um, I loved it so, so like, much. So does Fisk know that Matt's Daredevil? Am I, am um, I having, like, a brain fart? Because he I, would have to, I think. I, right? uh... I have to believe, because <coughs> he sent him the Daredevil suit. I know. So, and he had to have got it from that apartment, which right. wouldn't take him very long to figure out whose apartment it was. No, that's and what he I had mean. to have gone there under the guise of like knowing originally. <laughs> like unless, so like, but <coughs> but he would have had to known before we knew he knew in the show. I know. The, the, the point of of like knowing would have been the prison, but the suit was missing since whatever. Unless we cut back season. to something, and it's like that arms dealer guy somehow stole it, and he sells it to him. He's like, I got a suit. I was going <laughs> like, to say, some, so like, you know, crackhead something. I'm not going to be overly critical, but it's going to feel weird if Fisk is like, oh, very impressive for a blind man, but doesn't know he's Daredevil at all, but somehow has, you know, has yeah. the Daredevil suit. No, no, no. They're going to have to backfill some convoluted stuff to make that there's, make sense. Yeah, there's got to be something. And I, um, and I do feel like they will, they will dish up something that I'm like, yes. oh, yeah. That made sense. And, and cool. It, but at the moment, I'm very like, wait, what? About the whole thing? Like, Which we is see great. in episode, like, 10, he has Electra on the payroll, and she knew, so she yeah. told him, you know, like, something just like that. obviously knows or whatever. Yeah. Or yeah. or he doesn't know. <clears throat> she didn't tell him, but gave him the suit anyway, like, in some, like, you know, her yeah. own plan of, like, you know, Someone gotta has ruin a him and draw him a, out a, and blah, blah, blah. A, 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 you know, circuitous uh, thing or whatever. Yeah. 
Because that's going to be the moment, right, when he's like, oh, my one enemy is my other enemy. That's yeah. like the Lex Luthor thing, where it's like, oh, fuck, perfect. I, I really don't want um, you know, Dex to die. I, I want him <laughs> to be around for future things. Yeah. Because um, I, I really like what he's, what he's bringing yeah, to the table it's here. wonderful. I think um, that uh, his, char- like his, his, his normal persona, I'm like okay with. But yeah. I love his "I'm killing everybody" persona. And get another uh, thing. So, like, yeah, you, you know, you already touched on it, but the fight is so good. <clears throat> the music, the camera work. When he banks that that ball, for example, the camera whips around or whatever yeah. to give you that weird feeling of the whole thing. Um, it's like terrifying. Like, because after, so like he, you know, he kind of has Dex on the ropes, and then yeah. he he makes some space, and then he starts grabbing weird stuff Anything. and hucking him at it, and things that don't right? even like. <clears throat> he throws a pencil. Pencil, and it goes, goes like six inches into his leg, and you're like, okay. What? Or no, I'm sorry. I think it was a big pen. Actually, I don't think it was a pencil. And you're like, that's so light, and yes. like it's not. It's not like weighted towards this one dude end. Throw a cotton ball on the roof. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, and like, uh, like you, you watched it. You know what happened. But the whole flow of it was like, I was so, you know, into it. Him, you know, I like fights that are. Um, like, he's realizing, okay, this is not working. This guy knows exactly where to hit me because <laughs> this is his suit, apparently. <laughs> I wonder if he even knows that Matt's Daredevil, right? Whether or not Fisk knows, what do you tell Dex? Oh, I don't Dex? think Dex knows, so, no. so he's just like, how is this guy so good? Like, he doesn't even know, I think know, he just right? thinks he's fighting a ninja yeah, or something. Right? And, and he is a ninja, yeah. which is what's so perfect about it. Because part of you is like, oh, well, he doesn't even have a suit, and he has a suit, and he has his own kind of powers, and he's, like, military trained and, like, doing all of his stuff. So how is Matt able to Well, Matt's a ninja. It's perfect. Yeah. It's this wonderful thing. I I, but, I thought um, it was great. I thought the build up of showing Matt like you know like take the first quarter of that fight like yeah. you know like you know just like it was nothing. He's just he's just pummeling this dude. But the yeah. dude is wearing armor, yeah. so you're not like how much damage are you really doing to him? Right. Um. But but then you like you take that to the last twenty five percent where it's like you are running for your goddamn life. No, he's throwing like, everything at you word... and weird shit like computer monitor mug like so, whatever. Okay. So like so many things. Um. We could just watch it frame by frame, and I could just say how great everything is or sure. whatever. But when, like, uh, right w- right when Dex first creates the space in the fight, you know, Daredevil, like, uh, you know, Matt goes to, like, jump over a thing, and he, like, throws something at him to knock him back down. Yes. And, and he gets back up, and he throws something else, like, yeah. immediately. Like, he's, like, he's like suppressing him to keep him away. No, so he's it's, like, oh, it's shit, a wonderful th- tactic. This guy's beating me up. I need to grab, you know, like, like whatever. And even when he comes around the corner, like, holding a chair, uh, Dex still finds a way to, like, hit him with something yeah. and, like, knock him down. It, like, I, I, I use the word terrifying to mean, like, amazing sometimes. But here it was literally, it's like a horror movie. It's like a scene from Saw where, like, like there's, like, knives all around you and, like, you can't move when he's, like, behind the cubicles. And he's, yeah. he's like, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I it's thought you were going to see things so stabbing through, <clears throat> like, near him and stuff. Yeah. But then it was like, oh, no, he's, like, a psychic and knows exactly where you are. Like, they oh, did it a little bit. So, like, yeah, uh, I had a similar thought with that where it's, like, um, I wonder how they're going to. Because he can fool him with, like, the garbage can, right? And yeah. that's great, too, where Matt's, like, learning a little bit and all that stuff. I, I love when things evolve during like a fight but there's a thing right at the end where he like gets him with the scissors yes where it seems like he throws it from like uh, six inches away and like the angle seems weird and I was there, like this is a little weird that's, that was my like what I was trying to say when he threw like the pen is that okay. he's he's like throwing things at, at like yeah. a ridiculous speed too right. where like it doesn't even make sense how yes. it's happening and that's that's like one of the coolest superpowers it's well cause like you know like I outlined before you would think like oh he's very accurate I'm like well yeah, a lot of people should be accurate like come on, whatever. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, I've never seen that power translated like this, where Matt is like reaching over to grab something, oh, fuck, and, and like something hits yeah. him, and he's just like, oh, no. There like, was a, uh, I, I totally felt it. It was so good. A character in Alphas had, I can't remember what his, his power was called or whatever, but he was just had like perfect spatial awareness and like athletic yeah. prowess. And uh, that translated to everything. And in one, <laughs> one, in one episode, he like shoots a sniper rifle through multiple vents and, and like bounces through and kills a guy in a safe house and you're like yeah. what the fuck and like yeah. this is that like yeah, where it's like yeah. oh it's just magic you just have magic <laughs> it is pretty magic it feels pretty like grounded though still or whatever it, I'm okay with it, it yes but yeah. it, it, it only feels grounded because Matt is like a super ninja with powers himself yeah. against a normal hu- like if he was just yeah. and, and think about how he killed he everybody, in that, everybody. In the, yeah, it's amazing. using just knives yeah 
Like that that's pretty impressive. He's well he has the like batons, right? From from Daredevil's thing. Yeah. He's throwing those whoink, and goes through and like kills people uh-huh. and knocks them down. No, it was great. The whole thing was great. It was great to see the suit again finally and also have all this stuff happen and Sponsored all Sponsored by the NRA to <laughs> say that like, you know, guns aren't the only dangerous things. See? So you are uh, all the utensils in your house. You could also have decks coming in or whatever. Um, so we could talk about so let's just finish that, sure. right? So it's great. He uh, he I, I think he kills Ellison. I think our man's dead. The like uh, the editor guy. No, 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 no. You think? Oh no, no. Okay. He, he, it was it was it was high into the left. That, yep, yep. That, that's I a know. long shot. But at the end, Karen's like sitting there crying or whatever, and uh, and and she's not com- you know l- like checking him. Oh yeah, she's I, just I'm sitting not. There. I don't. Yeah. She may think he's dead. Okay, uh, and good, that's good, good, fine. Good. Yeah, I yeah. think she's crying because like she, she's like I lost. Oh no, no, I have she, nothing. Yes, a hundred percent. But you would have expected. She says out loud, "Oh no, no, Foggy's okay. He's just whatever," and she doesn't mention the you know the editor obviously. Well, Matt doesn't know um, him. I know that. Uh, but that's the point. So like, she's not even checking him or like saying like, mm. "Hey, there's a guy dying over here. Someone help him or whatever." But but I, that's I believe that's you'll not... see him in the next yes, episode. I hope so. That like like everything I saw was not conclusive. So I'm worried he might be dead. He also no, had no. that moment earlier where he's like, "I owe you an apology. Uh, thank you." Yeah, for the redeeming moment, making me brave enough uh, to to do this. Uh, lead on. And then <laughs> and dies or whatever. Like, nah. oh no, I like him too yeah. much. The power of, of me caring about the character will keep. Uh, They're gonna go back Jeffrey in time alive. to when this was filmed and make sure that he uh, that that he, that he sticks through it. Indeed, Foggy punches the guy. That was also That's a amazing. moment where I said out loud, "I was yeah. like, yeah, get yeah, him, boy." <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a lot of that in this episode. I was like, I was like, all yeah. right, cool. I did think it was <laughs> like it played out very strangely having it happen at the. Like where it happened, yes, yes. because like you, there's no real protection there, and it, it doesn't. Yeah. It wouldn't be too hard to figure out. Like, okay, they work here. Blah blah. blah like, if you were trying to do something, yeah. Um, and I don't everyone, know why they wouldn't yeah. have that happen just right with the FBI when right. they were dealing with this stuff. And and like uh, in their defense, I I I totally agree. But everyone does figure it out, and they all converge on it, and you get this awesome like yes. FBI suiting up thing or whatever. I think that that uh, Nadine's boss might be in on it to some degree or something like that. The way she was like leading his answers to be like, mm. it's fine though, right? We can do this. What if we do that? And like doing stuff. I don't know. She might just be like a no, tough it's, bitch. It's possible. And I'm misreading her like uh, motives or something like that. But I was like, oh man. But yeah, they go there and 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 we have a mini stairwell fight where he just and that was cool too because those are his bowls. friends. He doesn't too. try to kill them. Yeah. Like, there's a scene where he, like, grabs one of them and, like, shoves him towards the other guy that has the gun, and the guy being shoved does, like, this, like, no, yeah. no, 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 and then he, like, knocks them over. It's so perfect. Like, the choreography, the whole thing. It was very I can't nice. say enough good things about what no, this, this show episode does. this episode was super <laughs> strong, like, yeah. from beginning to end. I was, I was like, all right. Yeah. Um, what, what was that? What happened? How does the episode open? Was that uh... So it opens with Karen being a hot mess. And I was yes. like, what's going on here? To the point where when she went to buy the drugs, I was actually like, wait, does she also do drugs? <laughs> like, I knew that she was there for, like, the, you know, to, like, find the guy. But she, uh-huh. like, knew all the lingo and seemed to, like, be familiar oh, with, how, with how stuff works. I guess. But I was like, wait a minute. Oh, no. Because she wakes up and she's at... And she's a mess. There's, like, pills in the cabinet, and she's all, like, ugh, and Matt's there. And she's like, you know what, Matt? Just go fuck yourself. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. She, like, closes the door. Matt's just standing there like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I miscalculated. You still owe me for that rent, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was serious about the rent, Matt. What, what do you doing? think the rent on that place is? It, it's a uh, large – I understand it's, like, it's yeah. like made for a blind man because of what it you know, faces right. that light and whatnot. But it's still in New York City. I was going to say, like, it's pretty – it's a pretty it's big loft, whatever. So I was going to say, right, so, like – it being shitty with that big light probably just offsets it back to being normal price of like a because shitty apartment, right? I don't know why they wouldn't just put blackout drapes on it and anyone could live there. Like, what, what is yeah, the... Yeah, uh, that's a fun little... Shit, spray paint the windows black if yeah. it's going to be neon lights all the time. Like, it's, I don't see why a, that's a deal breaker. No, it's a fun contrivance for... Uh, yeah. How's the view? I'm, I'm, I'm told it's very annoying. <laughs> or whatever. Because yeah. how many blind people live in the city? Like... I don't think I. I feel like you wouldn't have well, trouble one. getting well, at least one. <laughs> at least one. No, I know. I'm just saying. I, I feel like there's a large percent of uh, of people of with course. all kinds of disabilities where yeah. sight would not, uh, you know, such as not much. having enough money to, to afford an apartment that yes. big that doesn't have a. That light would be loud too. That would be awful. Just this noise just killing me. Yeah, but very t- some people live noises. on train tracks already, and I know. <laughs> You know, whatever. Um, so then we cut to Fisk getting back mm. his privileges. Yes. He's like, like so many privileges. He's doing the cufflinks. He's fixing the stuff. Hello. He's like, the, they're bringing in chairs and art and shit. And he's just like, hmm. I don't I've see how it. 
those amount of privileges would ever be written into your thing. Like, <laughs> I get all my stuff, everything, and yeah. like, wear my white suit and be a pimp again. He's a pimp again. He's wearing the white suit again. Mm-hmm. And he's standing there like... He looks so good there in that we go. suit, too. It's perfect. It's he really, wonderful. He really does look good in it. They cast him literally because he was going to wear that suit. Yeah. It's, but it's wonderful. No, like, and it's it's nice to see it, like, like okay, like, he actually, he's not as large as a kingpin, like, you know, in the comics, yeah. but, like, he embodies it, and, like, he almost has, like, a voice that I could picture, like, like when you read the comic. There I, you I, go. The, the 90s uh, Spider-Man had, had, the had, cartoon, like, the, had, like, the right. perfect voice for me, and that's, mm-hmm. like, will always be, like, my best, whatever, but, uh, like, Michael Clark Duncan... Like was great in a different way. Cause I know. He's, it was like, well, no one's that large, and and like you know, he is that large. It's all muscle. And then when he like, yeah, when he rips off like the shirt, and you're like, dude, he's jacked. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, I have a soft spot for that uh, Ben Affleck Daredevil. I think there's some cool stuff in it, including that the casting of Michael mm-hmm. Clark Duncan as the Kingpin. Yeah. But um, uh, v- Vinny D's killing it here. Now he he um, is he is super killing it. Uh, Dex confronts him. We get the whole we're not so different, you and I. I killed yeah. my father. And then later, later, literally. So like, we should talk about how like, you know, how how Bullseye is like born, right? Because mm-hmm. like Fisk and like everything, like 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 Fisk leaked the like uh, thing about the investigation, yes. right? So he like lied to the actual investigators and then arranged for the information to go public, so that mm-hmm. like like front page of the newspaper, this guy's dirty or whatever it is, right? Oh my God, everything's falling apart, right? And like they're playing the audio. You need like a rigid structure, like a job that has a lot of whatever, right? As he's handing his badge and his gun, he's just like, oh, no, he's about to eat a bullet. He's, he's done. He's putting his meds in this, like, garbage bag. He's like, it's over. Like, like how'd you know I was a ballerina? All these all this audio is getting, like, dropped in over a him. A lot go, of times like, those sweating, can right? feel, like, too much and don't yeah. really play. And you're like, yeah, that would cause you to go on a killing. But I was like, no, yeah. I kind of believed this one. he was on this edge to begin with. He was, yeah, like, struggling. His he was, job like, and the love and of this girl was, like, all yeah. he had. And then he lost so both good. of them in a swoop. Yeah. And, like, this man who he thought was a scumbag. Maybe yeah. he's not so bad. He does this and that. He's taking care of me. He saved my job. He, but he really he, fucked you. He like he like you know holds out his hand to him. He's about to eat the bullet. The phone rings. Yeah, I'm giving you an opportunity, <laughs> right? And the guy's like, "Hello, sir. Come with me." And it's like, "All right." Yeah. And he gets and 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 I love that that you don't see him again until he's you know in the suit. Yes. No awkward like, oh, tell me exposition now or whatever, right? It's just him in the suit. And the way he smirks when he says I'm Daredevil is amazing. And and, and to bookend those like 20 minutes with like Nadine saying it was Daredevil at the end, right? This yeah. whole like thing. I'm like, oh my God, this is wonderful. Um, and you have Matt doing this weird like, walk it off. You're fine. Ah, walk it off. Like this. Oh, yeah, he got like two leaving. aggressive stabbings. <laughs> yes. He like leaves and just walks like it's in... Um, like it's in like a comedy movie almost. He's just walking it off. He's just done. I well, he's I gotta like, get the hell out of there. I know. I, in my head, I was like, so they knew he was happened. supposed to yeah. be there. He could have just lifted the mask off and been like, I was attacked like everybody else, and he probably could have just walked away. I know. But I guess because now he knows that he doesn't have his leverage anymore, he'd go to jail regardless. So he has he's to always, avoid he's it. He's already yeah. under investigation. Yeah, because everything fell apart for him too. Yeah. We're at such a great point in everything, right? Yeah. Um, Dex goes back, right? He's now uh, right, and we're and we're and we're slowly, organically assembling this comic book <laughs> nonsense, right? It's so good. Yeah. With Fisk there, I want uh, more. It's not like I, want, I know. I want more characters <laughs> to get introduced. I want more yeah. powers. I want more things because this one's done really well. It's so good. This is like, th- like, like again to go from the Colin Farrell one to this one is such a huge like like swing or something oh, yeah. like that. Because Electra, I I'm not this a huge is grounded fan. in reality. While that yeah. one was just like you know it was a, it was a kids movie. Right. It's like um, I'm not a huge fan of the Electra that they're doing on the on the Marvel shows here or whatever. Uh-huh. It's not the worst, but I'm like, it's it's fine. It's okay or something like that. I don't know if it's the actress or the writing or something. I'm just not super into it. Mm-hmm. But this is like amazing. This is ridiculous. Yes. Um, I can't think of anything 100% else agree. that we've missed here. I, and I, I'm very optimistic now that I know that it's 13 episodes and not just 10, mm. that we have more than we have seen so far to come, and things are only going to get better, hopefully. Um, Daredevil has always been a strong show, like the strongest Marvel show, and it just keeps like season by season getting better. Yeah, they're not they're not coasting, they're not doing whatever. I thought him like, and the Punisher was super strong, but yeah. but I think him and Bullseye stronger. It's great. That's all I can say is that it's great. Yeah. I have nothing to add here. Uh, did we miss anything in this episode? Uh, if we did, it was not important enough to like highlight. I can't wait to see because like where does Matt go now? He goes back to the to the monastery. Back to the monastery. Right? monastery? Or it's, it's uh, a nunnery or uh, reliquary. I don't know. Whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Um, 
Yeah, like um, Tra- Karen went and like talked to her on you know on the mm-hmm. way, so she's like met the nun now. So maybe that's the little whatever thing. But uh, he like forsook for, for, forsook God and all that stuff. Yeah, there's a whole there's all these layers of things happening here. I want to see now if Foggy gets pulled into some anti Daredevil thing along with an anti Fisk thing because right. like it just like we gotta you get have these... to speak out against this vigilante. We gotta get these people. freaks out of the city. Yeah, yeah exactly. Something. No, okay, because like you know, that's the main thing that we're not, I know, I, you know, actually spelling out is the headlines are like Daredevil massacre or whatever, right? The next yeah. day, and uh, you know, uh, everyone at Karen's paper is like dead except for Karen, right? And she might Pretty be, in, she might be in charge while her editor's in the hospital or something. Yeah, and she has to somehow report on like, oh, it wasn't really Daredevil though. How do you know? Shut up! I don't know. <laughs> All this yeah, stuff. like what do you do? That's it's going to be super interesting. It's good. It's a lot pulpy. of drama coming. I know. A lot of drama, well-earned drama, stuff that I don't hate, which is rare. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so that's this episode of Daredevil. Listen in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, Internet. I just love watching Just Daggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, peace out, homies.